What's up creators, let's get into these updates for this week's newsflash. First up, let's talk about AdSense blocking controls, the means by which you tell us about specific ads or types of ads that you do not want to appear on your channel. Now, the news here is that MCN affiliate channels have been given access to AdSense blocking controls, allowing them to make editorial decisions about the type of ads that serve on their channel. Previously, this was only available to YPP channels, now it can be accessed via the AdSense account linked to the channel itself. Next up, an update on Auto Chapters Bulk Edit. Now, we've recently launched Auto Chapters to new videos on the platform, and we've received pretty positive reactions so far. We're now expanding Auto Chapters to all existing videos of a creator on the platform, and as before, you're automatically opted into this. Now, we understand not everybody may want this enabled. So we're trying to make it easier for you to edit a large number of videos at the same time. And to do this, we're adding the option to allow or disallow chapters via bulk editing in the upload list. You can also turn off chapters in the uploads flow or metadata editor, or for all future uploads in the uploads defaults. Now remember, even if auto chapters are allowed on a video, overall, they're only gonna show on a small number of videos where the algorithm can detect chapters and also determines that they're a good fit for the content itself. Also remember that you can add your own chapters. We're gonna add more features here, so stay tuned for more updates. Next up, let's discuss a launch around video insights for evergreen videos, otherwise known as videos that have been popular with your audience for a long period of time. Now, last month, we ran an experiment to improve the monthly channel performance analysis you see in analytics by adding insights around these evergreen videos. As a result of the positive feedback from last month's experiment, we're rolling this out to all creators. Next up, a launch that's a little bit closer to my area of YouTube, and that is Yellow Icons. This launch is the appeal of Yellow Icons via Studio Mobile. We're rolling out the ability for creators to appeal Yellow Icons via the Studio Mobile app instead of solely via desktop. Now, it's important to note the self-certification questionnaire features, such as manual review feedback, post appeal, aren't going to be available at this time, but we hope to add them in the future. It's also really important that you have the most up-to-date Studio Mobile app on your device in order for this to work. We are rolling out this feature this very week, and all creators in YPP will have access by the end of September. Now, we're all about launches this week and we're not done yet. Let's talk about the launch of trending hashtags in Explore. We recently launched trending hashtags in Explore to help creators identify what has buzz on the platform, what topics users are really interested in, and to raise the visibility of hashtags on the platform itself. Now, I hear you cry, do not let this news flash end before you explain to us how YouTube identifies trending hashtags. Well, we identify and display hashtags that are seeing the fastest growth among users, and then select a subset of those across various categories, for example, movies, gaming, and sports. Important to note that this feature is only available to US mobile viewers. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. And that's it for this week's edition of the Newsflash from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. Thanks for watching.